Amaranth and 39 Dath thinks ASMR meta streamers aren't to blame for creepy viewers. You really think that ASMR isn't to blame for creepy viewers? Come on now. Oh, look at that. A woman who doesn't know any better. What are the odds? So Amaranth and another female Twitch influencer, streamer, whatever have you be named, 39 Daff really thinks that the ASMR meta isn't attracting creepy viewers. What? What the fuck? You really think that? No accountability here? You don't you don't think that what you're doing is a direct cause of this? Okay, whatever. Amaranth for 39 Daff say ASMR streamers are not to blame for creepy viewers. Twitch streamer Amaranth and 39 Daff have argued that creepy chat hoppers who harass other streamers are not the fault of female creators participating in the ASMR meta or similar content amid ongoing controversy over the new trend. The controversy regarding sexual content on Twitch came to a boiling point when they made an entirely new category specifically for hot tub streamers in May, after people found a loophole in the platform's attire guidelines. Twitch stated that while they have guidelines about what is deemed sexually suggestive content, being found sexy by others is not against our rules and Twitch will not take enforcement action against women or anyone on our service for their perceived attractiveness. The debate had been reignited once again after the new meta sprung up that sees streamers lying down in yoga pants and licking an ASMR microphone live on streams. Twitch has yet to take an official stance. They did ban both Amaranth and Indie Fox over their streams participating in the trend. 39 Death and Amaranth speak out. Now Amaranth and fellow streamer 39 Death have responded to people accusing women participating in the trend of driving creepy viewers to other female streamers. It's true! What are you talking about? How? God. I I do not want to have to look up clips of female, other female streamers complaining about the things that Amaranth and other Twitch streamers do and how it affects their time on the platform. Literally, so many clips of people complaining about the uh, 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 about Twitch thoughts. There are so many clips of other female streamers complaining about Twitch thoughts. It's insane. Can Indie Fox used to complain about Twitch thoughts? When for me, a when would be where I could wear a T-shirt and actually have people give it. But you know what? I can't. When I wear a T-shirt, I go down to 300 subs for no fucking reason. I. It's just maybe we'll go back down to 300 viewers, back to whatever we normally are, like. All the little changes like, oh, dressing up, putting on the charade, doing the thing, has made my stream be more successful, but it has not made me mentally okay with what I believe the entertainment industry is. Because this isn't really what women are. This isn't really what people are like. It is not real. It's both for Amaranth and like, oh, like. <laughs> Streamer Susu underscore JPEG claimed on Twitter that Twitch allowing blatant sexual content attracts a demographic that further hurts its female streamers who already deal with rampant sexism slash sexual harassment regards on what we wear and added that although they, they support the content they think it belongs on adult sites however 39 daft didn't agree explaining that there is no one to blame for creepy viewers except creepy viewers from themselves the problem of people who deliberately chat hop to be creeps in other streams lies exclusively in people who deliberately chat hop to be creeps as a woman streamer myself i have not noticed an uptick in harassment or creeps in my chat it's not even like I have an insane moderation team. I literally, I have literally one monitor who only shows up like half the time. She wants to add just my theory. I highly doubt people who subscribe and pay for Amaranth slash Indie Fox's OnlyFans are the ones actively going around harassing other women. 
the people doing it are the ones already on Twitch who just want to be a dickhead to other women. It's because I think it's less likely that a man who's willing slash monetary supports women and supports sex workers will go around making misogynistic comments and harassing other women. Overall, they seem more respectful of women than Gamer Bros. Uh, okay, so Susu goes on to reply, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you haven't been too negatively affected, but I know a lot of people who have, especially recent in the ASMR community on Twitch. Twitch has consistently been lax about their own TOS and are the ones on blame here. People will do what Twitch allows. The problem with your statement was assuming it attracts a, dem a demographic that further hurts its female streamers, etc. But in my opinion, it doesn't. Your opinion is wrong, Daphne. I'm gonna tell you why it's wrong. Just like, let me get through this fucking article where I'm losing brain cells. People who want to harass women on Twitch are already going to harass them. I don't agree that Twitch has problems. I don't disagree that Twitch has problems with moderation. I've heard from a lot of female streamers who stream mostly in, in just chatting or ASMR that things have gotten worse for them. I didn't mean for my tweet to seem like the blame was on women. Issues with community behavior fall on Twitch. Yes, that is right. That is right. So Amaranth over here on her personal Twitter account, she replies back, thank God you said it. This entire thread was spot on. And Adokali, dude, I swear, someone's typing this for her. Someone's, she, she does not talk like this. Someone is typing this for her. Who, I can't believe she would use the word anecdotally. I don't believe it. Someone's typing this for her. <laughs> Anecdotally, there's a non-female streamer who's very outspoken who told me she's dealing with a 100% rise in creeps and hot tub meta. I asked her mod directly and he said it went from one to two bands per stream to two to four. There's a problem, but it's largely overblown. Uh, if anything, sexy streamers basically dive on the grenade that is offensively creepy and coomery people. But I guess make a mountain out of a molehill for a little bit of content, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay. This is such an amazingly, uh, amazingly accurate take amongst all the fake news that goes something like this. These girls are bringing creepy guys to the platform who harass other female content. It's like, no, the people who we bring are on balance far, far, far more mild and mannered and open-minded than average gamer bro. Oh God, bro. What am I reading? The dramatic canopy of voices saying it hurts the platform actually hurts the platform due to shining a spotlight on a molehill. Self-fulfilling prophecy. What? Wait, 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 wait. You're saying the, the people complaining about it hurt the platform more than the actual people doing all this crazy shit? Really? You hear yourself? You, this is bullshit. There's no way you believe that. Come on, is this you? Probably damaging for Twitch's ad revenue. So, okay. Now, to respond to Dav, you're wrong, okay? You you are 100% wrong. Uh, the things that happen on Twitch do bring attention to other female streamers who don't want that kind of attention. It happens all the time, and I see it all the time. Some, some females lean into it. Some females don't want that kind of attention, but I see it all the time. Like I said before, Indy Fox, she used to be one of these women complaining about Twitch thoughts, complaining about like how, how she has to so, show cleavage and all of this, and now she's banned from spreading it wide eagle on Twitch. Like it, it's ridiculous, and like it goes to show like like the delusional world you live in. And she's saying, uh, I don't experience this. You're one person. You are one person. Eh, I got one mod. He's there half the time. I don't really experience. Wait, right. did you see your Instagram? You are the most plain looking girl. You're like a five. Like you're. Um. It's a very, very plain looking girl. I'm sorry to say it. Like no one's going to tell you, but. You are very, 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 very plain looking compared to the women you're talking about, okay? <laughs> like there are women that look way better than you do and they actually doll themselves up and they put on makeup and lipstick and all this. You literally just sit there in, a, in an oversized hoodie and t-shirt playing video games. And that's cool, 
do what you want. You make yourself look as unattractive as possible so you don't get that kind of attention. Other women who put the makeup on, who put a little bit of attention, doll themselves up a little bit, they do get that kind of attraction even if they're not uh, necessarily looking for it. There are women on here who just cosplay for fun, chill out, uh, with their chat and such not really thoughting it up they're just trying to have a good time and some creep comes along because they see Indy Fox or Amaranth spreading their cheeks wide open and they come in there donate a few bucks like hey mama why you not busting it wide open like it happens it literally literally happens maybe not for you but I'm gonna get canceled for this but it's true it's true we we we, we look at we judge people based on looks first and foremost. That is the sad reality of the world. Like, I need a motherfucking haircut. I know this. Uh, that, that That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. If you like the video, go, uh, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think on this whole stupid shit. <laughs> right, because over 70% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. I don't know why. You're going to end up back here anyway, eventually. May as well subscribe before I get mad. Everyone have a great day.